Throughout the history of our world, there have been several moments that have significantly changed the global landscape. Events such as World War I, World War II, the establishment of the Soviet Union, and subsequently the Cold War era. These four pivotal moments were stepping stones for the United States to gain full influence globally and become the superpower we know today. However, America's dominance is now beginning to waver due to its actions. Various controversial invasions in the Middle East have diminished public trust, along with indiscriminate sanctions imposed on countries that disagree with the United States, among other issues. These aggravating actions by America have led to an unexpected alliance among three other military giants of the world, Russia, China, and Iran. Surprisingly, these three nations have found common ground in their shared adversary, the United States. Today, we'll delve into the dynamics of the relationship between Russia, China, and Iran and its impact on international affairs. Discussing the relationship between Russia, China, and Iran inevitably starts with the historical ties between China and Iran with the Soviet Union. For China, the Soviet Union was an old ally. During the Chinese Civil War from 1927 to 1936, the Soviet Union consistently supported Mao Zedong due to shared ideological and political platforms, namely communism. Unfortunately, this friendship was short-lived. When the Soviet Union was led by Nikita Khrushchev, Mao Zedong believed that Khrushchev was too pro-West, which clashed with communist values. The misunderstanding between Mao Zedong and Khrushchev continued to widen, eventually leading to a border war between the two countries in 1969. The relationship between the Soviet Union and Iran also didn't start warmly. During the era of the Pahlavi dynasty, the ruling period of Shah Pahlavi in Iran, both countries were fierce rivals in the Caspian Sea and the South Caucasus. Even after the Iranian Revolution, where Iran was led by Ayatollah Khomeini, relations between Iran and the Soviet Union didn't improve, as Khomeini regarded the Soviet Union as the lesser Satan and the United States as the Great Satan. As for China and Iran, there wasn't any significant relationship between the two due to the considerable distance between the countries. The frosty relations between Iran, China, and the Soviet Union began to thaw following the collapse of the Soviet Union. Russia, considered the successor of the Soviet Union, took a surprising step by adopting a non-Western stance. It was this attitude from Russia that brought it closer to both China and Iran. After the change in the Russian government, diplomatic relations between China and Russia improved. In 2001, the two countries even signed the Treaty of Friendship, which includes collaboration between China and Russia in various fields such as economy, technology, international relations, and the military. Since the agreement, Russia and China have grown rapidly, with China even becoming Russia's largest trading partner, with trade values reaching 100 billion US dollars. More astonishingly, Russia and China agreed to a 30-year oil trade deal starting in 2014 worth 400 billion US dollars. Since 2015, Russia has been selling a series of its advanced military equipment to China, including the Su-35 fighter jets and the S-400 air defense system. Since then, China and Russia have often been seen conducting joint military exercises. Russia and China later expanded their influence by establishing the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, or SCO, to address security issues among nations, such as separatism, terrorism, and drug trafficking. The SCO has since grown from its original members, China, Russia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, and Tajikistan, to include India and Pakistan, with Iran expected to join soon. Russia has also garnered significant sympathy from Iran. It's important to note that both Iran and Russia have suffered similarly due to sanctions from the United States and the Western world. These two countries are the most sanctioned in terms of trade globally due to America and its allies. Furthermore, Russia and Iran share common ground in their support for Syria, where both support Bashar al-Assad remaining as president despite American efforts to overthrow him. Because of this shared stance, Russia and Iran have forged close trade cooperation to minimize the impact of sanctions. 
This cooperation proved successful as in 2022, their trade volume reached 4 billion US dollars in just one year. During Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Iran also provided significant support by supplying advanced drones to Russia to compensate for their ammunition shortage. As for Iran and China, their relationship has greatly improved. As is known, China is constructing its ambitious One Belt, One Road project. A key part of this project is Iran, which can connect China to Europe. Hence, China has purchased exclusive rights to several oil and gas fields in Iran and has aided in various infrastructure developments such as subway systems, dams, coal plants, and more. In 2022, the trade value between Iran and China surged, reaching 20 billion US dollars. With the strong relations between these three nations, Russia, China, and Iran have also tightened their military ties. In early 2022, Russia, China, and Iran were even seen conducting joint naval exercises in the Indian Ocean. Observing the changes in relations between Russia, China, and Iran after Russia declared an anti-America and anti-West stance leads us to one conclusion. The relations among the three are founded on a shared perception of weakening Western dominance, in this case, America and Europe. For Russia, China, and Iran, Western dominance is highly perilous because the West often intervenes in countries for reasons that are unacceptable to the three. One prime example is America's invasion of Iraq in 2003, the main purpose of which was America's suspicion that Iraq possessed weapons of mass destruction. Now, 20 years later, America has not found these alleged weapons. Therefore, it's understandable that Russia, China, and Iran disagree with the expansion of American and Western influence around their regions. Russia explicitly opposes NATO expansion in former Soviet states, which are perceived as potential espionage threats. Iran and China support Russia's opposition. Then there's Iran, opposing the presence of American troops in the Middle East like Iraq and Syria. Iran's decision is supported by both China and Russia. As for China, it opposes the presence of American warships in the Pacific Ocean territories, a stance supported by Russia and Iran. The shared perception among these three countries that the Western world and America intend to erode them has led Zafar Bangash, a journalist and observer of contemporary Islam from Canada, to think that Russia, China, and Iran could form a new power bloc. The prediction of a new power bloc spearheaded by Russia, China, and Iran is frequently discussed lately. However, becoming a new power bloc is not an easy task for these three countries. The first reason is the still clashing geopolitical influences. China and Russia may appear cordial, but they are competing for influence in Central Asia, for example, in Kazakhstan. This battle for influence could signal that China and Russia could part ways at any time especially since China has significant control over Russia's economy. Since Russia was sanctioned by the West, China has been its largest trading partner, and a fallout with China could lead to significant losses for Russia. The second reason is the difficulty for these three countries to reach a comprehensive agreement due to the lack of a diplomatic organization, akin to NATO or the European Union, to facilitate their alignment. China and Russia have indeed joined BRICS for economic cooperation and SEO for military and security cooperation, but it's undeniable that BRICS and SEO have not yet matched the integration level of NATO and the European Union. The third reason is the difference in ideology. We need to understand that NATO and the European Union can be strong and incredibly integrated due to their shared ideology of promoting liberalism, human rights issues, the expansion of democracy, and free markets. For Russia, China, and Iran, the three do not share the same ideology and have different interests. Russia, as the successor of the Soviet Union, aims to maintain and enhance its influence in former Soviet states. China's mission is to become the main geopolitical competitor to the United States, often clashing for influence with Russia. Meanwhile, Iran is a theocratic state trying to export its Islamic revolution to other Muslim countries. With these ideological differences and diverging interests, the alliance of Russia, China, and Iran is still too premature to be called a new power bloc to rival America and its allies. However, if Russia, China and Ukraine could unite wholly, 
This formidable force could significantly change the international relations order. Perhaps nations will no longer fear American and Western sanctions upon seeing Russia and Iran survive through cooperation with China.